All right. <laughs> so this is Lost Castle too. Um, again, this is the demo version of this. So remember, the footage you are about to see may or may not be featured in the full version of the game. Um, we are currently playing this on a PlayStation 4 controller. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. Okay. Well, look, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see how this one plays because, I mean, we play, like I said, we played the original Lost Castle. So I'm curious to see... Treasure hunters, do you know about Ithros? The places where they appear are always filled with valuable magical treasures. Mm. Just a few days ago, I received some news from a few old comrades in the guild. They discovered Ithros near a castle in the border mountains of Riado. However, the border regions are always very dangerous with monsters roaming everywhere. The abandoned castle has been untouched for many years. That abandoned castle, okay. But I believe this won't deter us. Adventure and treasures are calling for us. By the way, newcomer, you haven't introduced yourself yet. Aww. Oh, you get to actually custom make your character in this? In the I other one, they just, like, gave you a character. Um, so let's do that. Oh. Definitely want that. Um, let's go... Marquise. Aww. I'm just gonna make her an elf. Hair. That one's cute. Oh, there's a lot of hairs in this. Oh, geez. Let's go with this one. This one looks cute. And of course, yep. I'm going to keep her head shaped that way. Nope, no beard. There we go. I can have a tail. Oh, man. Oh, me. Makeup. Want you put a little bit of makeup? Yeah, I'm not feeling the makeup. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not feeling the makeup. Okay. Voice. Wait. Why to do that? Oh. <laughs> I like this one, so we'll use that one. Okay. Okay, we're... Oh, so save. And then what is your name? Um, player name cannot be empty. Okay. Um, because... In these types of games, I usually always play. It's not letting me type my name. <laughs> Will that happen? I usually go by Siren Marie, so we're gonna go with Siren Marie if it'll let me. Nope, so we're gonna go with Sirena. That is the next game name I use, so. Firm. The advanced party of treasure hunters has already set up the camp. Let's embark on this treasure seeking adventure. Adventures and treasures are calling for us. Yay. <laughs> it looks so I do like that you now get to kind of like play as a character of your choosing 
as opposed to them randomizing the character. True. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this art style is nice. Okay, the enthusiastic half elven blacksmith sister. Hey there, treasure hunter. I'm Nadia. As you can see, I'm a blacksmith. I can provide you Let's with various. No, she has a top on. Shut up. With various hunter gear to assist you in your adventures. I can also offer you some starting weapons for your journey. My sister should have arrived as well. However, she seems quite interested in ethereal technology and went out to find the ethereal device. Sorry. I hope she doesn't encounter any danger. Let's not talk about my sister for now. Treasure hunter need to pick a suitable hunter gear. Let me see. I'm pretty sure you have to have monies for this, right? Loads of money. LT to jump. Each type of weapon has a different jumping attack. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, we could we could talk to everybody, but well, I tend to do like the bow. I do. I'm gonna take bow. Cause yes, we could talk to everybody, but let's try to get into some gameplay. We'll save the talking to everybody for when we play the full version. Before entering a dangerous area, the old hunters of the guild help the new hunters learn basic combat skills. I mean, what? Uh, okay, we're good. <laughs> I know what Dad's saying. What? You skipped the tutorial? Yeah, we're good. What? I like the art style in this. Oh, wow. So we can pick up this rune. Um, I guess. I. Probably should have did a tutorial. It probably tells you what that is. And then I don't need this because we didn't take any damage. So. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Mistakes were made. Choose bows. Okay. 
I thought the other one showed you their, um, like what they had left. After being picked up, plus one, rune stones on them stack and have no weight. Okay. Okay, and some coins. Um, let's see what this challenge area. Complete the challenges ahead, and the ethereal device in the area will offer extra rewards. Elite monster area. The monster ahead are affected by evil and are more dangerous, but it's also easier to find better treasure there. Let's do this. Do the elite monsters. Oh, Lord. See if we can take him out. Wait, are those fighting the goblets? Could be. Yes, they were. They were fighting those goblets. say either I've gotten really better at games I spoke too soon. <laughs> I was like, you know, I've gotten better at games because I'm like, it, it would seem a little simple there, but nope. Gabe said, haha, we got you. You want challenge? Got you. Aw. Okay. Let's see. Let's pick these up. Okay, that might be better. Okay. Let's run through one more time. Yeah. And then um, we will take a break before we... Um, I'm so used to some of these games usually having heavy attacks. Yeah. That is driving me crazy that this one doesn't have a heavy attack. It's kind of strange a little bit. All right. Well, that was quick. We are not going to take the bow. All right. Looking like a proper rogue. Oh, I think it took my attack speed up.
That's what it appears like. Look like it took my speeds up. Looks like it did give you faster DPS. Yeah. This. A staff? That might be beneficial. Or do I want these? Release a dazzling flash of light from the staff to intimidate enemies. Uh, let's try the staff for a moment. And then if I don't like it, hopefully we get the swords again. <laughs> Oh, right. Wow. Okay. Choose a treasure. Um, the ancient amulet, when HP is below 25%, recover 2% HP per second in 10 seconds. Okay. This effect can only be triggered once in an area, and then the guardian gain a shield of 5% max HP plus 20 after entering. Uh, yeah, take the guardian one. Like... Let's try this one, just to see. It's a challenge area. It hurt less than two times and clear the area. Okay. Okay. Gotta stop them from being coming too powerful. Nailed it. That worked out. Armor and Chaos. An armor and chaotic flux ready for intervention. To determine its final form upon being teleported. Okay. Wandering Mage's Roll. Loss. Armor. Minus max MP. I mean, I don't want any of this, though. Can we just dismantle this? A rat tail. Upon defeating an enemy, generate poison mist. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Take the rat tail. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna move slow. <laughs> like, that happened. A 
was like, I didn't know if... Oh, we cleared the area. Okay. Um, that's a merchant area. And then this one is a safe area. This area is safe. Resupply and ready yourself here. Um, what do we do? Guess we go here just to see. We already using that. Light armor, negative ten no wait. Oh, plus ten the speed. Okay. On a successful hit, there is a fifteen percent chance to increase critical rate by ten percent lasting ten seconds. Life crystal cluster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Chaos room. Okay. Mm. Injury, HP, recovery speed by 100%. That's, that takes 60. Buy that and then uh kind of want to get this but i'm like does that take overtake my other one we're gonna go for it looks like here's the boss fight see what we do oh well you know that's valid goblin champion Oh, he just killed that little guy. That was coming. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. I think we can at least. Lag. That works. All the lag and none the
We might. Double kill, Doc. Double freaking kill. Are you kidding me? I'm kind of mad. Not gonna lie. A little mad. <laughs> Oh, that double Soft kill? Sorry. That's messed up. Uh -huh. Oop! But, yeah. Oh, wow, her name is Serena. That's funny. <laughs> Hello, I am Selena. Now her name is Selena. It was Serena. Now it's Selena? Um... Look at that, I mean, R and L are nowhere near each other, so. We seem to have met before in the Black Forest. I, together with my sister, provide assistance to everyone in the guild. My sister is in charge of forging equipment. I, I'm currently studying this awkward, acquired ethereal device. This device seems to be able to manipulate the ethereal equipment respiratory in this area, controlling the types of weapons that appear in this region. If you need to use the device, you can find me. Let's give activating this device a try, shall we? Oh, that's cool. So then you could be like, okay, like, I like the I staff, right? So like, I like the staff. So I only want, say, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want, okay. So I have to have three. So say those are the three that I want. So now those will be the three that pop up. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. But we are going to go ahead and in um, this playthrough of Lost Castle 2. Again, if you like what you saw and you are here in chat, you can use exclamation point G-O-T-C. And if you are watching this as a VOD on YouTube, then the information for the game is going to be in the description box below. Um, but what were your thoughts on the game? It looks pretty fun, like a nice little enhancement from the original game. Yeah. Obviously, because I mean, I can't really say much more because again, I haven't played it firsthand, so I yeah. can't really tell you as much more. I would definitely say before Steam Next Fest ends, it, you know, and you're okay afterwards you should definitely give this one uh, a go i i liked it um i don't i think you can actually i didn't see if it, it looked like you could play on like it had online co-op um for this one but yeah the, i i liked it um uh, definitely i one of the main things i liked about it too was the fact that you could build your own character so in the first one they would roll your character for you like how your character looked but in this one you get to make your own avatar and i thought that was cool um but yeah that is lost castle too <laughs>